So on the subject of wokeness, I want to start this segment by mentioning this poll. So a majority say Republicans should spend less time talking about wokeness. This includes Republicans as well, which is not really that surprising to me because I think that just ordinary Republican people, voters around the country, I feel like they're not as fixated on these things. But you have a lot of folks in right wing media kind of driving this narrative and raising the salience of so-called woke brands and woke corporations and woke this and woke that. But I think that normal people are just kind of like sick of it. I, I for one, I'm so tired of hearing about wokeness and outrage over wokeness. You know, a couple of years ago, Republicans were denouncing the prevalence of PC culture and how hypersensitive snowflakes get outraged over every little thing. And now they're emulating what they hated. And that's because every accusation is a confession. So they've always been the snowflakes, but like people don't want to hear about this shit. But what are they talking about? Wokeness, 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 wokeness. It's just, it's so insufferable because it's, there's no end in sight, right? Cat in the Hat went woke. Mr. Potato Head went woke. Um, so it's just, I can't fucking take it, folks. So this week, the brand that conservatives are canceling for going woke is Bud Light. I'm sure that many of you have heard about this by now, but Bud Light is teaming up with Dylan Mulvaney, and conservatives are very outraged about that. So let's go ahead and um, let's watch the outrageous promotion of Bud Light by Dylan Mulvaney. Hi, impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports and I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate this month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money, too. Love ya! Cheers! Go team! Whatever team you love, I love, too. Okay. Pretty relatable, because I don't know anything about sports. But after watching that video, how many of you feel outraged? Like, do you just feel the anger bubbling up? How dare Bud Light do this? They sponsored a trans woman. How dare they? There's another video here that uh, outraged them. Okay, I don't know if that music is copyrighted, but she has Bud Light here. She's She's got a brand deal. I mean... <laughs> this is not the first time that a brand has teamed up with an influencer. It happens all the time. But because Dylan is trans, well, they're predictably apoplectic because the right is a bunch of uh, snowflakes. Um, yeah, calling all bar still conservatives to boycott Bud Light because of her face on the can. And... What's interesting about this is one individual who used to be able to get attention by just releasing music is going viral because he is making it known that he does not approve of this woke nonsense. So I'm talking, of course, about Kid Rock, and um, he's going to take a stand against Bud Light. <laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh, say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. Uh-oh. Oh no. Fuck Bud Light and fuck Anheuser-Busch. Have a terrific day. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's really badass, folks. Um, I'm sure that Bud Light is furious that he shot the beer after he gave them their money. You know, the best protest is to give a brand your money and then you destroy said product. Conservatives did this with Nikes. Now they're doing this with Bud Light. I mean, they're they're <laughs> they're crying all the way to the bank, right, Monty? <laughs> um, this is like 
this is boomer shit for sure, right? Where he thinks he's so badass. Brother, you're washed up and you used to be able to get attention by just like making music. But now you have to resort to this. And this is all performative. Let's be very clear. This is performative because Kid Rock, he never used to have issues with LGBTQ plus people as far as I know. So um, as uh, Cosmopolitics, friend of the show, shared... Kid Rock chilling with legendary drag queen Wanda in 2003 when Kid Rock was relevant and didn't need to shoot beer cans to prove his manhood. Yeah, so he is. He, he's he's drinking Bud Light, and he's here with a drag queen. So before, you know, he had no problem with this woke bullshit. But now he has to virtue signal to his, um, I don't want to say, like, fans, because I don't know if he still has the same fans, but it's still virtue signaling. It's attention whore-ish. And it's just, it's embarrassing. Um... So yeah, conservatives they want to uh, they want to boycott Bud Light because what else is new? They're offended by Bud Light, and um, Bud Light is not backing down because why would they? There's absolutely nothing offensive about this ad campaign, and so they're just basically telling conservatives, "Suck my dick." You know, same thing with M and M's, same thing with everyone else. Because I think that. What these conservatives don't realize is that they are living in a bubble and most people don't care about these things. Most people aren't foaming at the mouth every time they see an LGBTQ plus person. Like, they don't care. I don't think I even think about certain sponsorships or brand deals that I see. Like, I genuinely just couldn't give less of a shit about it. And that's, I think, the opinion of most people. But conservatives think that because they're outraged, everyone is outraged. But... No, nobody really cares. And Bud Light acknowledges that and they're telling them to eat shit. So the beer company is standing by, by the way, this is courtesy of LGBTQ Nation. The beer company is standing by its partnership with Mulvaney. Anheuser-Busch works with hundreds of influencers across our brands as one of many ways to authentically connect with audiences across various demographics and passion points, a spokesperson told Fox News on Monday. They also debunked the misconception that cans featuring the trans influencer's face would be widely available in stores. From time to time, we, pro we produce unique commemorative cans for fans and for brand influencers like Dylan Mulvaney, the spokesperson said. The commemorative can was a gift to celebrate personal, uh, personal milestone and is not for sale to the general public. So in other words, they're basically saying, shut the fuck up, you goddamn snowflakes. We don't just want to sell beer to straight people. We want to sell beer to gay people and trans people because guess what they have money and as a business we very much would like to take their money too so they're going to lose customers if they end up being exclusive so inclusivity is going to be the best bet for these businesses i mean look look folks we live in a capitalist society right and so now unfortunately for conservatives public opinion is against them. Now, most Americans embrace LGBTQ plus people and LGBTQ plus issues. And now these brands can just straight up market to gay people, which is a good thing. I, like, uh, you know, I, I don't like capitalism and rainbow capitalism per se, but the normalization of LGBTQ people, I think that's an objectively good thing. Um, but if you were thinking about switching over from uh, Bud Light to Coors Light, well, the problem is that um, they're woke too because Coors Light has this little uh, refreshingly proud sign because they also talk about how committed they are to the LGBTQ community. Okay, well, that's fine. Maybe I'll just forego b uh, beer altogether and I'll drink some hard liquor, maybe some whiskey. Maybe I'll pick up some Jack Daniels. Oops, Jack Daniels. They also teamed up with RuPaul's Drag Race. And um, yeah, they're they're woke too. So you can't escape it, right? And I love this this comment here. I want to go back to this. So uh, this is from Grace Holland. It's so funny to see tweets like this because they do know their audience. Referring to this end wokeness tweet, Bud Light is clearly clueless about who, who their target audience is. They do know their audience. They're a multi-million dollar company. You losers are the minority here. Everyone hates you bigots and you only think you're the majority because you're all so fucking loud and annoying about your baseless hatred. And that right there, standing ovation. This person nails it right there. Because they're in an echo chamber, a very loud echo chamber, they think that everyone agrees with them. But the fact remains that most Americans don't agree with you. They side with LGBTQ plus people here. And what we're seeing is the screams of 
millions of bigots online who can't fight past the cognitive dissonance. So they've lost the culture war. And the issue here is that the louder that they screech about the culture war, the harder they lose the culture war, right? So they can continue to dig in, but it's only hurting them more. So they can either embrace LGBTQ plus people or be trapped on the wrong side of history in perpetuity. I think we know what they're going to choose. But either way, you know, I don't understand why they're so obsessed with Dylan Mulvaney. It's not just like about pride. It's not just about LGBTQ plus issues more broadly speaking. But there's something about Dylan Mulvaney that breaks the fuck out of right wingers brains. And it just it genuinely is nonsensical. Like this is just some innocent influencer who recently came out of trans came out as trans to my understanding i don't know too much about her and for whatever reason like she triggers them like you wouldn't believe and it's genuinely weird like their obsession with her is actually very creepy it's not like she's saying anything offensive it's not like she's saying fuck conservatives like she's literally just like being herself and is open about how she's trans and her experience with being trans and because of that they're like seething over her and I, I just i just have to tell them all you have to get a hobby i mean there's so many other things that you can dedicate your time to you can choose to uh go skateboarding you can fucking uh play video games there's so many other things that you can focus on that don't make you look like complete freaks but the problem is they are freaks and so this is why they do this kind of shit so yeah they're canceling bud light but unfortunately, if they're canceling Bud Light for going woke, they're going to have to cancel basically every other brand because all brands have gone woke because they want to make money and excluding queer people isn't necessarily the best business practice. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. bitches, bitches. Woke moralism. Woke moralism. Woke moralism. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital way. region was exposed. I let her have her way.